Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing a review of a lamin mint pasty from Cornwall. It's from Cornish Premier. They're the leading brand in Cornwall. Five years running they've been awarded. Even this year they've got an award from the Eden Project and that was over the winter time when it was all shut down. Well let's have a look and see what we're looking at today. Well first and foremost if you're a bakery business the pasty does come in a box of 30. Though the label does say 36, it is only 30 now. For some reason, they've decided to cut down the size of the box and put up the price. Isn't that normal? And for Joe Public, you can buy your pasties directly from them. Now they do come as a box of 10 or whatever you want. And they are around about 28 to 30 pound a throw. Depends on what you want because you can mix and match the box whatever you like really because that's the type of thing it is. When you're buying from Cornwall they do come up boxed in frozen by UPS or one of the couriers that come directly to you and you'll find them well packed up and still frozen when they're delivered to your door. So the question is what is in the lamin mint? So let's have a look at all the details that's all your ingredients and nutrients. And that is the baking instructions. Ignore the date on there. This is an old piece of card. So there's your frozen pie, all ready to bake. Once again, it's got an L on the top, all nicely crimped around the edges by hundreds of little people down in Cornwall. And once again, it's your standard Cornish pasty shell. To me, this seems a little bit light. Now the baking instructions, and I'll tell you today, I baked, I followed the instructions to the T. And I've overbaked it. I haven't shown you yet, <laughs> but believe me, it's overbaked. <laughs> it says on the instructions, 425 in a straightforward oven, without fan for 55 minutes or thereabouts. Now, <laughs> if you're gonna do it in an ordinary oven, I think that should have been more like 40 minutes because it's smaller than, I think what they've done is, these labels have been done and they've cut down the size and what they forgot to tell everybody, if you cut down the size, you cut down the baking. So let's have a look at the baked pie. Well, there you go. There's the baked Cornish pasty. Uh, oh well, it's over baked. Doesn't that happen? It can happen to everybody. Now I was using the sage oven and this is a warning to anybody who's got a sage oven. They do burn on the bottom. Now I'll follow the instructions to exactly what I'm supposed to do. Even if I used the straightforward fan assisted ones, I would have ended up burning it. Because for some reason, they cut down the weight of these. So let's cut all the rubbish out and let's get on to the center. Now I will warn you, it might be a bit drier than normal. Or it could be I cocked up big time. Oh, inside don't too, look too bad. Now, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Pastry is a bit crusty, but then I don't mind a bit of crusty pastry. So let's have a look at the inside. And there's the inside. You can see, <laughs> you can see where I've overbaked the pastry, can't you? But the inside looks fine. It's got lots of different things in there. Obviously the main one is vegetables. And then you've got your meat. So once again, the taste test on the pastry. Though this is overcooked, this is still premier pastry. So it's gonna taste exactly the same as normal, bland and no salt. So what is gonna be any different? Mm. Saltier. Mm. Huh, they must have made a mistake there or they've been listening to me. Mm. Yep. Hooray, they put some salt in their pastry. Thank God for that. They've obviously been watching my videos. So let's go straight for the full Monty and have a taste. Okay, I know it's burnt. Don't worry about that. Mm. 
Mm. Okay, I know I can taste the pastry. And it does have that bit of burnt on the bottom, but that ain't too bad. Nice bit of lamb. Let's have a look at what's here. Well, you got your lamb and that's well minted up. And it's got the peppers and it's got the sweetness of the mint. Very nice. And once again, you've got your potatoes and looking at it, you've got sweet and carrot. Let's see if you've got any flavor in this. You wouldn't normally eat it like this, but the pastry is a bit, to be honest, overbaked. That veg is lush and it's just got enough seasoning. It has got the pepper. I'm not going to bang on about the pepper. It's all round in the mouth. And it's, it, it tastes really, really nice. So I, I, I actually enjoy that and that is very, very nice. Apart from me over baking it, that center bit is nice. Excuse my fingers. Oh, that's absolutely lush. Well, summing this lamb and mint up today is very, very easy. Okay, I know I've overbaked it. The flavor is absolutely beautiful. It's got plenty of pepper in, it's got salt, it's got everything you need for a lamb and mint. I dare to say, I will share the link with you, if you wanna make this, but better, use my recipe uh, and I can tell you now it would knock spots off this to be <laughs> but in saying that this is a factory made product the lamb is just basically you've taken a load of lamb and minced it together as one big chunk and I've added it in which is fine the veg is absolutely beautiful it's got a beautiful flavor and with that lamb and the mint it just works for me and, and i'm telling you now i am i'd be pleased to sell that in my shop obviously not burnt <laughs> <laughs> oh well, these things happened didn't it so getting down to the points out of 10 that is a solid nine out of ten it is really really nice for a manufactured pie that is spot on. And if you were buying some, definitely get, get an order some of these. These are blooming lush, but don't over bake them. But, well, it wouldn't be me if I didn't actually burn some. I mean, if you've been with me on the channel for over three years, you know by now, you don't see much burnt stuff. In fact, you never see anything burnt. Uh, that's probably because I cut it all out. But in this case, I thought, no, I'm gonna run with it. I'll just show you that I do cock up occasionally like the rest of us. Well, there you go, folks. If you enjoyed this type of content, please subscribe and please share. Now, if you haven't noticed, there has been a number of buttons added along the bottom of your screen. Obviously not here, but actually on your mobile phone or actually on your computer. You've got a like, a dislike, and now a super like button. Yes, that is for super subscribers. And I've got my very first one today. Yep, it's Digby Greenfingers. Thank you very much, mate. So you will get a mention on the channel if you join in. And obviously, I think as you go up the scale, <laughs> you get merit marks. And I'm not sure exactly the whole scheme of things, apart from your actually supporting the channel. Well, there you go for, for today. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!